To optimize the camera for a night landscape scene, you'll want to set the manual mode. You want to make sure the flash is turned off. You'll want to set the timer mode. You may want to set the mirror lockup. You'll set the ISO and the white balance. Let's get started by setting the manual mode. Turn the mode dial to the letter M. The manual mode allows you to set both the shutter speed and the aperture. Because this is a landscape, you want to have a relatively small aperture to make sure everything in the scene is in focus. So press the AV button and hold it down, and then use the main dial at the top of the camera to set this to F16. Let's go ahead and now set the shutter speed to something very, very slow. I'll turn the main dial at the top of the camera again and set this to two seconds. Taking a picture with these settings will give me an idea of whether I need to increase or decrease the speed of the shutter. You want to make sure the flash is turned off by pressing it down. With such a slow shutter speed, you'll really have to use a tripod, or at least set the camera down on something very steady. To minimize camera shake even further, you'll want to use the timer mode. Go ahead and press the drive mode button right here, and then move over to the two second timer then press set. With the two second timer, I can press the shutter button, activating the two second timer, release the camera, which gives it enough time to stop shaking before the picture is taken. To even further stop any kind of shaking from the camera, you may want to set the mirror lockup. To do so, press the main menu button right here, and then use the navigation buttons to move over to the third setup tab then press set to set a custom function. Now you'll move over using the left and right navigation buttons to custom function number eight, which is mirror lockup, then press set. Now go down to enable and press set again. Then you can press the menu button to escape and again to escape the main menu. What this will do is when you press the shutter button, not only will the timer be activated, but also the mirror in the camera will pop up. Popping up the mirror two seconds before the picture is taken even further reduces any kind of camera shake. Now let's go ahead and set the ISO. If the ISO is set to automatic, the camera may choose a higher ISO and you don't want that for this scene because the shutter speed is so slow. So go ahead and press the ISO button right up here and then use the navigation buttons to set 100. Press set to escape. With the ISO set to 100, you can set a very slow shutter speed and maintain very smooth colors in your image. Now let's go ahead and set the white balance. Press the up navigation button or the WB button right here and use the left or right navigation buttons to set the appropriate white balance. Depending on the color of the street light, you may want to set this to tungsten. Otherwise, you can set this to daylight or any other setting that best suits your needs. Go ahead and press set to escape. Now with the camera properly set, again, you wanna make sure it's on a tripod or something very still. Press the shutter button halfway to lock focus on your subject. With the focus locked, press the shutter button the rest of the way to activate the two second timer and pop up the mirror. Now gently release the camera giving it those two seconds to stop shaking before the picture is taken.